I know it may seem like an odd statement to make, but trust me when I tell you that I've been thinking about this for a while now and the more it runs around my head, the more sense it makes. In order to explain myself better, I'm gonna divide this video into three sections. 1. Pumpkin pies and pumpkin farming 2. Carved pumpkins, golem summoning and 3. Carved pumpkins, talking to Enderman. Can you already make a bit more sense of this idea? Let's get into it! A pumpkin is one of the 400 items you can find in the Minecraft inventory, not particularly hard to get, as it requires only grass blocks with air above, clear of any plants, such as flowers or grass, and it can generate whether or not that grass block has a layer of snow, though they only have one thirty second of a chance to generate on each chunk, which makes them rarer than diamond ores, they are one of the most powerful items, usable in all three dimensions and for several different purposes. When playing last year, I realized that these little orange boxes are so bloody OP. Why? Pumpkin pies and pumpkin farming. Pumpkins can be used to craft pumpkin pies, by placing sugar, eggs and of course a pumpkin in whatever setting you want. They seem to be a useless food item for most players and they will only craft it to get the A Balanced Diet Achievement in Java Edition. Some psychopath even put it on the D level on the tiger list. <laughs> However, it was mentioned, or well, ranted by redditor u slash coltrainpop that this food can be easily the best one on this blocky game. Based on what they said and what I found myself, one. Pies restore 8 hunger points, or 4 meals visually, which means you need less than 3 to completely fill your hunger bar and get some saturation. Pies require only 3 farms, a sugarcane farm, a pumpkin farm and an egg farm, which are fairly easy to make even if you're just starting to play. Ironically, an automatic pumpkin farm is a bit harder to make than the other two. They are stackable, meaning you can carry up to 64 pies on a single cell and up to 1728 pies if you're using a shulker box. You spend way less time gathering materials and crafting one stack of pie than you do getting one stack of any type of meat or golden carrots. You need to plant pumpkin seeds only one time and every time you remove one the stem grows another one, so it's basically an infinite generator built into the game mechanics. And you slash Pop even mentioned this. Pumpkin pie has made me one of the richest people on the vanilla Minecraft server I play on. Due to all of the excess pie made by my pumpkin pie factory, I decided to start selling the pie at only 8 iron for a stack or diamond for 4 stacks. Being in one of the best located buildings in the city I live in, it was incredibly successful, with people flocking to buy all the pie they can due to the amazing price. As a result, I have created a monopoly on the entire fruit industry on the Minecraft server, furthered by myself opening more pumpkin pie stores throughout the entire server in all kinds of different towns. I have even franchised my pumpkin pie stores to other people on the server. Now, nearly every single player on the Minecraft server eats pumpkin pie as opposed to other quote-unquote better foods such as steak and cooked pork chips. As you can see, pumpkin is already overpowered, but there's more! Carved pumpkins, golem summoning. Whether you are summoning an iron or a snow golem, apart from, well, iron or snow blocks, you need either a carved pumpkin or a jack o' lantern. This means that what gives life to these mobs is the pumpkin itself, not you, in a sense, and not even the materials. These mobs tend to be powerful. The snow golem, spreading snow everywhere they go, producing infinite snow even if you remove it over and over again. The Iron Golem, even capable of defeating a Warden, as it has been proven on several snapshot reviews. And able to defend a village from raiders like illagers, pillagers, ravagers or witches, among others. It is also important to point out that these mobs are not robots, they do have feelings and personalities. The Snow Golems will try to escape if you try to trap them and the iron golems will try to kill you if you hit them. It was at this moment that he knew. 
and sometimes they will offer a rose to villagers. Yes. Pumpkins create not only consciousness, they create life. Carved pumpkins talking to Enderman. Okay, this one is the reason I actually wrote this essay. I was watching RGN, a deep dive into my Minecraft Enderman theory, which proposed that even though Enderman, yes, the plural of Enderman, have purple eyes, the Ender pearls and the eyes of Ender are green. There is a theory which states that Enderman were maybe not humans like Steve or Alex, but definitely beings as smart and capable as them. The dragon decided to capture and hypnotize them with their magic, also known as Dragon Breath, the purple powder that kills you when fighting against a dragon, and that you can collect to craft lingering potions. And that is the reason why Enderman eyes are also purple instead of green, as it appears they should be. And the reason they seem to have lost their ability to build things, but they are still able to pick up some blocks and constantly screw up my fucking plain terrains. Where pumpkins, specifically carved pumpkins, come into play is that when a player wears one, they are able to look at the Enderman directly in the eyes without making them angry. It has also been theorized that Endermen are trying to talk to the player because some of the sounds they make are very distorted and reversed. Hi. What's up? Hey. And look for the eye. Which makes carved pumpkins important as well, as they could potentially provide a safe way to talk some more to the Enderman and then even a chance of truly freeing them from the dark magic that the dragon put on them previously. So a block as simple as a pumpkin threatens in a way the most powerful mob in the game, the Ender Dragon. So now a bonus, other cool things related to pumpkins. In Java Edition, zombies, zombie villagers, skeletons, wither skeletons, drowned, husks, strays, and zombified piglins have a chance of wearing a carved pumpkin if they spawn during Halloween. If a mob wearing a carved pumpkin is killed using a tool enchanted with looting, there is a chance that the mob drops the carved pumpkin. Wandering traders can sell a pumpkin for one emerald. You can also find pumpkins in pillager outposts and taiga villages. Finally, when placed, a carved pumpkin automatically faces the player. Could this be that the pumpkin itself is alive and that's why it looks at you? All my research can be found on the description and the written version of this video can be found at keep-dancing.blogspot.com. Thanks for reading and have an amazing night. Bye bye! Ah, the colonies! Ah! Ah!